What's up everybody? My name is Jeremy Jones and I am back with another video. Today we're talking to Air Jordan 3 Fire Red. So stay tuned. Open one day, I'ma get it all right. Brother is engaged, but I start a new life. Yeah, I haven't had a chill day. Really wanna vibe, appreciate the moments. I've been creating, not scrolling. Mom and dad still support it. Alright, man, I'm back with another video, man. Before I get too deep into this video, y'all already know what to do. Go and hit that like button. It really helps the channel out. Well. And if you're new, consider subscribing. I make content about sneakers. Alright, so let's dive into today's video. We're talking to Air Jordan 3, Fire Red. All right, man, we're gonna be keeping things very simple over today. We're gonna be answering the basic old question. Are they drip or skip? But let's just keep it there. All right, so first things first, these are set to release September 10th to the best of my knowledge, coming in at a retail price of $210, right? Okay, and of course, you know the kid glanced at the resale price and looked like they're averaging about $215 and up, depending on the size, right? Okay, now, let's just keep it 100. We've seen this colorway floating around several times, right? Okay, we've seen a special Eminem version at the Super Bowl, right? Okay, and last time this shoe was retro was what? Back in 2013, to the best of my knowledge, and if I'm wrong, feel free to correct me back in the comment section, and I think we also seen them again in 2007. However, right, the difference between those pairs and this pair is the elephant print. Those elephant print from the, what, 2013 and the 2007 pairs, like the elephant print was just off, right, okay? Everybody thinks the elephant print is off on this 2022 pair, but in actuality, it looks closer to the originality of the shoe when it dropped back in like what, in the 19 like 80s, right? Okay, but don't quote me on that. But like I said, it looks like what I would expect the elephant print to look like. I hate when they mess with it in that like the 2013 and like the 2000, like what, seven pairs, it's like that black elephant print. I want that gray elephant print. And that's what it looked like this pair is coming with in 2022, right? Okay, now you also may be thinking like, We've seen this shoe in several other different names. We can think of the Cardinal Reds, right? Okay, the Cardinal Red 3s. Then we have what? The Katrina 3s, right? Okay. Like I said, Jordan Brand has thrown this shoe at us at several different times. It's probably why people are kind of like, meh. You know what I'm saying? Do I anticipate this shoe selling out? Yes, right? Okay, if I had to guess, yes, because y'all know me. I'm a sucker for red and I know it's gonna be a slow sellout, but that shouldn't be be the deal breaker. But of course, to the people who are, you know, looking to buy this shoe and try to catch some money on it, it's gonna be one of those, in my opinion, you have to hold, right? Okay, now, like I said, it's definitely a nice shoe. I'm a sucker for it. I've been kind of debating, y'all saw on the lives where basically right now, the current sneaker market is kind of like a buyer's market. We're gonna keep it 100. But as for, Right now, I feel like the best way to describe the market is for the true sneakerhead. There are those shoes out there where people are holding on to and like literally, I was just negotiating with somebody right now on the resale market and homie wouldn't cut me a deal because he said he's trying to, he's basically, he didn't say these exact words, but in so many words, he basically said he's hoping to see these go back up. That's why he won't budge on a price with me. But if they don't, then he'll cut me a deal. So in my opinion, he's not a real, I don't, I'm gonna leave that alone. That's a different video, different day, probably a part of the lot. But neither here nor there, back to these fire red threes. Now, overall, right, okay, I gotta be honest, not a bad shoe. And I'm low key, I'm on the fence, but overall, I'm just gonna go ahead and put these in the drip category. It's a nice shoe, they did it right. This is one knows that everything is nice about this shoe except that new price point that Jordan Brand has is at, at that $210. And we can argue where like, you know, this one up, this one up, the, the, the inflation of the cost of living has went up. We can argue shipping costs have went up. We can argue all that, but I'm still gonna stand by my originality that Jordan Brand already charged way too much for these shoes already. But neither here nor there, we are still here and I'm still rocking out with the kids. So with all that being said, with the complaint and the comparisons and all the other shoes as well, these are still gonna be a drip for the kid, but I wanna know what you guys think down in the comment section and will you be going after these on September 10th, retailing at $210? And of course, let me know if you think they're drip or skip. All right, man, I'm gonna go ahead and get up out of this thing and stop rambling, man. Y'all be sure to hit that like button. It really helps the channel out, and if you're new,
consider subscribing. I made content about sneakers. Again, my name is Jeremy Jones, and thank you for watching, and I'm out.